For this match, we've got Froth versus Scotch. Who is? Scotch. Perfect. Thank you. All right. We're going to have Scotch here on player one. So a quick change on that from my side. Boom. And here we go. We're going to see the... Wow, what a cool matchup. Altina versus Mewtwo. And they're off quick. This is a really weird matchup. <laughs> Not what you see all the time, but this Palatina is really, really keeping the pressure on. Being kind of reactive has a huge, huge toolkit utilized from any distance. Mewtwo is kind of the same, so it's kind of a funky matchup, and not what we see a lot. Oh, and that was beautiful. Great use of the special there. Oh, and the down tilt and the forward air combo to finish him off the first ghost of Scotch. Oh no. Oh man, that edge guarding is disgusting. Combo up, neutral air, neutral air, neutral air. It's just continuously forever. The damage output is just insane. Great dash attack. Frost gotta get in his face. It's the only way. There we go. Great back throw. Let's see if he can combo out here. Go up three stacks to one here. Frost's gotta do something quick. He can't take much damage. He's gotta stay out of those neutral air combos. Oh man, it's disgusting. You like absolutely having a master class of combos. But that was a great up throw. Which you have to high percentage to stay alive. He's got to get some damage in here. Great read there. Don't know. Oh man, the recovery of Mewtwo is absolutely insane. to go on that last one and Scotch is gonna take a quick one nothing lead where are they gonna take it to map two let's check it out um, the counter pick is going to small battlefields we're going small battlefields are they going to bring out the same matchup? Pokemon to Pokemon Trainer. Okay. I love seeing Pokemon Trainer. I wish we had more players here at our shop, but we just don't have a lot. Three, two, one, go! What I was talking about a few games back, if you guys were here, anybody watching now, but just the ground, the speed, and the combos of Squirtle to get that damage up from Pokemon Trainer and then switch into one of the like heavier, higher kill potential. You could still get kills with Squirtle, but, but man, he's just a master of racking up a bunch of damage really fast. Great use of the Uppy there. Oh, great dash attack. Oh, the back 
care. Beautiful. Ooh, stays alive. This one's so close. He's staying. Squirtle, too. You must really dig the Squirtle play. Great up B. Not quite enough to do the kill yet. Oh, great front air there. Forward air and forward tilt for the kill. Let's go, Squirtle. Scott takes a quick stock lead here. It was actually not quick. It took a minute and a half for that first stock. And here it is. Those are those combo potentials with Squirtle I was talking about. Great back throw. Quick kill, able to charge up. The blast. It's kind of cool, like playing Smash, watching Smash, and seeing like a Pokemon battle like this. Very like nostalgic or something. Mewtwo versus Ivysaur or Squirtle. Takes me back to the Pokemon movie. Great use of the Razor Leaf there. Oh, man. Oh, great read there by Scotch. Dodge the throw and hit him with a forward tilt. Nice throw. And he goes up two to one, but he's at 87%. He's gotta stay. Squishes to the Squirtle, avoid the attack, beautiful. Quick combo. He went for the kill, he went for it. I totally respect it. If he would have hit that, probably would have been able to finish him. A little greedy, but he had a chance. Great combo by Croft there with the Mewtwo. back throw but it's Charizard I'm not gonna kill him that easily he gets off to the edge oh great dodge there let's look at that recovery me too oh and the up hair scotch is gonna take another game and go up two games to zero on Brawl. That one was very, very close. Where are they taking it? Kalos Pokemon League, here we go. Dolph's gotta get something going here with the Mewtwo. Ooh, Mewtwo Rob? Okay. in the front air, grabbing the Beyblade. This is an interesting matchup if you really think about it with like Me Too, all this. He's got his only potential kind of like Samus, but then he has pretty decent damage up close, really powerful grabs. Um, Rob's balanced all the way around, but for off to a quick, quick start, able to get a lot of damage in here. Oh, nice smash. 
Can they keep him? Oh, he tries to hit him with the blaster, but just not quite. Great grab. Is it enough? That's going to do it. First stock goes to Thrall. Quick lead. He needs this one if he's going to turn things around in this series. It looks like Scotch is trying to get some of those aerial combos in. Oh my gosh, beautiful forward there. Trying to get it as much damage as he can and raise that kill potential that he has. That is the up smash. Nice grab. Goes for the run grab. Hits him with a down air. Gets the Beyblade. Okay. If Rolf can get a quick one here, he's, he needs to get a quick kill on Rob. That was huge. This is it. Oh no, the Beyblade. He dodges it there. It's a crab throw. If he can get a kill here, he still has a pretty good chance. Big forward air here. He needs to avoid that punch chip damage that he's getting hit with. Just getting so high to where just getting hit by Rob's gonna kill him. Scotch is going to take it. Okay. And with that...